So this is my mindset this morning. The change, it just woke up. The change is happening too fast, way too fast in all areas of life, in all of people's lives. It don't, it's not just happening in your life. It's not just affecting you. It's affecting people in all walks of life from all over the world. And they're having to make a lot of change very quickly. A lot of changes in a lot of areas. Even though that change... Good morning, um, Apple Work. Let me put my glasses on. I could see better. Okay, good morning, Apple Work. Even though that change... They knew that it was coming in the back of their minds, the change. But it's happening much faster than they even realize you are. It's hard. It is hard for people to... Um, switch over that fast. It's like switching your brain over, switching your mind over into like a, well, like it's like a survival, survival like mentality. It's like a, the switch got clicked, the switch got flipped inside of here is what happened in everybody's life. Some just like that. And that's how this change has been happening. This change has been happening just like that. It comes unexpectedly because it, what it is, it's the change that you would think will never happen. Have you been noticing that? The change that you think will never happen has happened. And it's, it's not just like, uh, like, you know, gloom and doom and stuff. It's all of these, it seems like it's all of these things that um, we may take for granted. All of these things that we take for granted, the change, we say that it never happened. No, it, no, it, there's no way I am good. I am sick. No, 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 no. That change is seeing, that's happening. It's happening all around the world. We're seeing it being implemented on a worldwide scale and on an individual scale. You all, you're seeing it every single level of society from the bottom up. It seems that change is occurring, you all. It's occurring. Perhaps it started at the top, which it normally does. It starts at the top. Whatever is in control at the top, it literally, it just keeps trickling down and 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 trickling down, and trickling down until it hits bottom. Then, then it's got everybody's attention when it's happening that way, you all. Let me let me get another drink of my tea. I'm sorry about this. I woke up this morning to white skies, gray skies. Um, I have, yeah. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good and his love endures forever. Um, I found that at a uh, Goodwill, not y yesterday, but another day. And uh, I got it because I have hardly any glasses that I drink out of. And I thought, this is a beautiful cup. I only have a few cups. Oh, I wanted to get a drink. Okay. I wanted to get a drink. That's what I wanted to do you up. Yeah, this is what I'm seeing. You know, I happened. After I did my live video last night, I was tired. And I happened on this one YouTube channel. I can't remember her name. I know Grandma was in it. Her name, Grandma. She seems to be about my age. And she was urging people to prepare the one video, get your money out of the banks. Get your money out of the banks. Um, because in China, the people's money's in the bank, and it's locked. They can't get their money out to feed their families. She said that, I really like the, the spirit on this woman. I really did. That was a video she did. And um, she had one on, you know, start stocking up, preparing, preparing yourself because it's happening. The hard times are here. And you're going to have people. You're going to have people who she was describing some people as uh, wolf or wolf preppers, wolf, wolf preppers or loan preppers or something like that. They are the people who come in and they will swoop into your house 
and take your stuff that you have prepared for you. Well, at least they think they will, but they won't get it, is what she said. But this lady, I, I just looked at a couple of her videos. I, I actually listened to one whole one uh, when she said, get your money out of the banks uh, because, you know, you may need it and you may not have access to it because the smaller institutions are failing. But listen, the whole point is I, I personally, and I know you personally, you are seeing this change and it's happening way too fast, way too fast, way too fast for people to um, to have chance to react properly. I, I'd like to say that to have people for people to be able to act properly. It's like if you didn't, it's kind of like if you didn't get the clue ahead of time that the, the change was coming. Let me see. Barack Obama ran on change. He did. I can't remember what he said, but that's what he did. He ran on change. Change. I can't, I, I can't remember the phrase um, that he would use, but that was basis. That's the only thing I remember. Change. And that great change is coming. It's here. Something is coming. And I'm going to refer to what someone said in a live video that I did the other day. It's probably been around a week, maybe two weeks ago. I do so many videos, you all. And the reason I do it is I want to keep those algorithms going. And I want to keep in touch because I know the notifications don't get sent out. Um, so a few weeks ago, I did a video. And um, this woman had commented in the comment section. It's like something is trying to enter. Something is trying to enter. And she's right, because it caught my attention. It literally got me right here. And she, there is an energy that is being pulled in, brought in, and it is powerful. It's extremely powerful, you all. And I know that people sense it. I know you sense it. I sense it. I can feel it. It's hard for me, and I know it's hard for you, to literally grasp everything that's going on because everywhere you look, you can see all these changes occurring everywhere. And it's like we don't got time. There's no way we can tend to all the changes that are happening. And some people say, well, that's why I stick in my own little world. I worry about me. I don't watch no news or nothing. But guess what? Even though you stick in your own little world and you, you know, mind only you, this change has a way of reaching its tentacles. Let's say tentacles, tentacles into your life, uh, into the extensions of your life. That's how powerful this change is. It will get to you. It will get your attention. And if you're not ready, it's going to take you by surprise. It's like a Okay, you know, they say the Kraken can bring the storms and the seas and stuff like that. It can, the Cthulhu thing, um, like the storm is here. Wonder if that's what they're referring to. And I, when I think of that, I think of a spiritual because that thing can take, this Cthulhu thing, it can take on a human form. It can, a human form, because it said it could back in, uh, you know, but the change, and have you noticed, you are, this is really, this is really, really important. Also has happened on this other video. Uh, these are very, these are random places that I somehow clicked into. And I, I'm not warm to, I'm not one to search YouTube or for anything. And they were talking about in Canada, where um, if you live in Canada, the things that are being implemented there, and it's by... Listen, listen. It's like new leadership was rolled in. Do you think it was all rolled in around about the same time? Young leadership as opposed to the 80 or 90 year olds or 70 year olds. New leadership was rolled into current countries. Rolled in and it is and it is still. It is still being rolled in to companies all around the world, organizations and stuff. It's like 
out with the old mindset. A new mindset is taking over. That's right, a new mindset is taking over. And it's going to bring about the change that whatever this entity is, because it is, an, uh, it is a force behind it. It is wanting a change. And it's like all the players are being put into place. And it literally is out with the old. It's like um, you have heads of companies who've been there for years and years and years. They're out the door. They do not agree with the new management style. Isn't that how you say, hey, 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 listen. Isn't that how you take over? You cut the people out? Isn't that how you take over? Um, it's not just in the United States. Uh, I'm sure if you're watching this video, you're seeing it in your country too. And you have things that you could share too about what's happening in your countries on a private level, on a consumer level, you all. A consumer level. And in instances, you're seeing some something shut down completely. Shut down. Out of business. All of it. Hello, everyone. You know, if I haven't said it, I probably did not say it because it's too busy running my... It's too busy talking. I was going to say running my mouth, but it's too busy talking. Have you all um, seen that? You don't like expecting stuff to happen, but the way the world is going to, I don't think that we can wait much longer. Oh, no, it, it's literally... Is if you've ever done any canning, it's like a pressure canner. Or it's like that tea kettle that's setting on the stove and it's getting hotter and hotter and hotter. And when it gets hot enough, it starts blowing its whistle. It does. Or the pressure canner, that little thing on the pressure canner starts wiggling and wiggling and wiggling and wiggling and wiggling at a very, very, very fast pace because it's under so much pressure. And you know, you cannot, if you have something that's under so much pressure and only a little bitty vent thing getting out, it's like a volcano steaming and steaming and steaming, and then it blows its top, blows it. Sometimes it's horrible, um, but even with a pressure canner, all that under there, you cannot take that lid off completely. It is, it, you try so hard to relieve the pressure and you have to try super, super hard uh, and it's, it's like, Earth has like, it's like it's in a big old pressure canner. And that thing is wiggling and wiggling. The steam is coming out. It's getting faster and faster and faster. And they're trying to release the steam and they can't. They're trying to release that, you know what. And they're trying, they're having to try really, really hard. Um, yeah, I don't know what they can do. They can like move that thing on. Like if I'm using as a, I'm using a visual as a pressure canner, you can move that little um, thing at the top and you can allow that pressure, that steam to go and hold it there until the steam goes down enough to where you can literally open that lid and let it all out. Um, do you feel like you're under a pressure canner? Do you feel like we are literally under so much pressure around the world that it's building and building and building and the steam is coming out and it's 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 getting really hard and they're going to have to let the steam off because so, they want to get out what's inside of there. They got something inside of there and they want to get it out because that's what happened when you pressure canner. The pressure's all built up. It's like wiggling and wiggling and wiggling. Um, but you know when that comes down, you want to get out of there what's inside of there. That's why you, let me tell you something. I looked at my phone. When I came out here, I had 70%. It just now told me, Gina, you have a low battery. I have a low battery just like that. Um, hello, Susan and Apple Borks. Uh, hello to everyone. So you all, this change, I, I don't even know what it's about, but it's happening way too fast. It's people don't got enough time to prepare I know I've been saying you got to prepare for the past few years inside of here. I've done videos like a get your first aid kit ready, get your, uh, well, I don't know if I've done a bug out bag. I'm sure I have before, but we've got to get ready, you all. Time is running out. It is, you can sense it. It's, the change is happening way too fast. It's happening too fast for me to even, I can't grasp it in my hands. There's too much. I can't, there's too much change occurring. 
it's going to it's going to drive people batty um, because it's like it's like telling a person, you got to do this, you got to do that, you got to do this, you got to do that. Oh, when you get through with that, you need to do this. And you got this much time to get it in. It's not happening. It's not happening. Somebody's shooting their gun and the, you can hear it echoing through the forest. There, you No, know, I can't do everything that needs to get done. And I'm sure you can't do everything that needs to get done that you want to get done because time is not permitting. There's too much. And I think that was um, carefully orchestrated and... It was designed that way to where you cannot get everything done and maintain uh, a quality of life, a normal life, you all. But we've got to do something. You all, if I can remember that uh, video of the lady I watched last night, she had a good spirit on her. I liked her. I really did like her. Um, and she even liked them. Um, has an outdoor um, thing where she gardens, you know, she talks, she walks around her yard too, and that, that, that's really nice, I like it. Yeah. You change your water jug every three weeks, please do an emergency water source. Oh, Rashan, thank you. That's very important, you need water. You need water. You know what I was thinking? Now this is, this is kind of preparing. This is kind of preparing on the preparing scale, like dishwashing detergent. It used to be the dishwashing detergent was really thick and that too has been watered down. It's like half the consistency that it used to be. And if you were to go to the Dollar Tree, you used to be able to get thick dishwashing detergent, um, cheap. But if you go to the Dollar Tree now, you'll notice that it is watered down. It just pours out really fast. Now here's what I'm saying. I'm wondering if the laundry detergent the non-smell laundry detergent, you all, non-fragrant. If you could use that to, you know, wash dishes with, because that is a lot more for your money. It is a very thick consistency, a very thick, much better than the little bitty water log uh, dishwashing soap. I've been thinking about that for the couple of weeks. I have. I thought, well, I guess you could as long as you wash all your stuff off and as long as it's not too perfumey, you all. Um, how do you go from 70% to low battery so fast? I don't know what's happening, you all. I don't, uh, I have no idea how that happened. I guess the energy got sucked out. I need to ring my chime. What I need to do. You rinse in the sink. Yeah. Oh, I wanted to catch that um, that hummingbird, you all, but I dis uh, disrupted it. I don't know how I go to that so fast. I'm waiting for another warning on here because it's giving me a warning because it happens so fast. And I don't know, they could shut my phone off or lower the quality of my um, stream. Ah, uh, that's right. Tonka trucks were plastic. Everything is plastic. Um, you use a dental, and there's hardly any smell to it. Dental. I never heard of a dental. Dental. Um, breathing. You got to breathe. Who's got to breathe? Detergents with scents is a way healthier. Oh, without it. Yes, that's right. Because some of the stuff is so perfumey, and the things they plug into the walls is so perfumey. When I was on chemo, going through it, I had an ultra sensitive sense of smell. The slightest smell made me so nauseous. I remember getting in the vehicle. My husband had this leather jacket that he would wear. It was like in a, my first, get this, my first round of chemo was going to be given to me on October the 24th. And I told the lady, oh, well, that's my birthday. She said, I am not giving you chemo on your birthday, I will reschedule that. You're not coming in here on your birthday and getting chemo. It got rescheduled to October the 31st of all days, you all. But I couldn't send, I couldn't stand any smell at all. Um, it made me so nauseous. Um, yeah. I never really could. I never, I never was one for the incense, even since a little child, it's just the candles in the house. No, 
I can't I can't handle smelly candles and smelly things like that you all I don't wear perfume I don't um, I know some houses you you love the smell and sometimes people spray stuff to cover up smells but there are some people who are ultra sensitive to smells and um, I don't know how I got onto that but I I am ultra sensitive to it you all um, so um, you use essential oils there's light at yes there is light at the end of the tunnel this will not it will not last forever and continue on that platform continue uh the way it is the change once the change is fully implemented however that change is implemented um i hope that um it's not going to be bad i i want to i want to have a future i do i want to I want to be able and I want you to be able to make it through the hard times, however hard they are, uh, to the best of your ability so we can see the, the clear path ahead, the light ahead to make it through the hard times. And I saw this one video clip to you. I'm not going to. It was Linda Moulton Howe. She said that in this factory or something in Japan, I think this is what she said, some kind of factory, there were four military like robots or something like this and they had dismantled one or two but these four robots they said it was all a big lie they said it was a big lie she made it up they killed 29 scientists or 29 people and the one one of them that they had dismantled somehow was able to tap into the satellites above find the directions or the how to put itself back together is what she said and it literally did kill they, it was like it became sentient and um, i would not be surprised if there is that and it's already been here for a while the you know the awakening of them and it happened i wouldn't say that's far-fetched look at the world we live in we're seeing some crazy things and for her to have said that i don't think that's far-fetched at all i don't I don't think it's way out there. This is strange because um, it was like a, I was 14 minutes into the video. Now I'm 22, 22 right now. And um, I haven't got another battery warning. Okay, Alice. Yeah, see, I, I heard that and I thought, oh my gosh, they're keeping it from the people. They are. Um, but that's okay, you all. We can make it. We can make it. And I probably better hop off of here. I don't want this morning video to be a big, long video at all, you all. But... Um, the change is happening way too fast, and it's very hard to keep up with because you got to be on your toes. It's like I my, I personally feel like um, I ain't got time to sit around and do nothing. I got to get busy. I got to get busy preparing my house and get my house in order. Get my house in order. Get my physical house in order, my spiritual house in order. I got to get prepared on the inside. That's what That's me personally. That's what I feel like. There's no time for me to sit around and, you know, just like do whatever. I feel it's very, very urgent. You all, have you noticed you've got to, well, I know you have. You've got to be very careful of how much money you spend. Uh, you've got to um, be very selective because that money's not going as far. And you never know when that money is going to run out, run out completely. And that's why we can't. It's like this thing, wealth is worthless in the day of wrath totally worthless and you know it is if your country's being attacked just like the in the europe and stuff and an opposing force came the people who had their land for years and years and years within generation and generation when the enemy came they had to leave it all behind their all their physical stuff they couldn't take it with them they left they left on foot left on foot you all I may have to do that. You may have to do that. Leave it all behind. Leave it all behind. You never know. Some people will stay where they're at and just that, that and that's probably the future they have to have. Um, whatever you do, I, I think it's already been planned out more or less. I really do. Like um, some people do not believe in um, predestination. That's kind of like it too. If you believe in predestination, uh, then, um, yeah, 
I know that's not too much of a theory for some people, but there is like, and if you live in a matrix, it's like you've already been programmed in this matrix to do something. If you were on a computer board, you were pre-programmed, this is how it's gonna play out, boom. Yeah, if everything has been planned ahead of time and you just don't know it, or you make your own future, there's so many theories out there, you all. So many, but I think that we are strong enough. I know we're strong enough on the inside of here to keep pressing on because uh, we're totally aware of what's going on in the world. Totally aware. And there is a lot, a lot of chattel, chatter. I did happen over to, somebody dropped a link to Marfugal News when I finished my live video last night. And I went over there. I, I've never been to Marfugal News before. I, mean, I think he had a, like an 11-minute video or something. And I listened. And he does. He just does short snippets of news. I thought, wow, I didn't know all of that was going on. I didn't. Um, and you know, there is, there's rumors of wars here, wars there, preparations, drills being done. But what's not a rumor is everything is changing exponentially faster. It, it, it's coming so fast. It's like a race car coming down the road and it's passing you up. You're going to get left behind. It just change is happening way too fast in all areas and we can feel it and we can sense it. And it literally, it changes the mindset of the individual itself. It, it changes my mindset. It changes your mindset. It helps us pre, it's helping me and uh, making me realize I've got to prioritize my life. I do. You've got to prioritize your life. You've got to do whatever you can to get yourself in order for yourself and your family. You do. And you want to stay strong on the inside of here because nobody's going to, Nobody's going to walk all over you. They're not, and you know it. They're not going to walk all over you. Mm -mm. You don't have to let them to. You don't have to be a doormat either. You got to prepare. I got to prepare. We got to prepare. The change is way too fast, and there's new players being put in all over the place. New players, you all. New players in the game. This is a game to something. A two, it's something at the top way at the top it is playing out the way that they want it to and i don't you know like the game of life it made it a board game you will learn about life when you play the game of life yeah something up there way up there at the tippy top now it told me i had 10 percent of my battery left at the tippy top it's it's playing out so i'm gonna go and um, thank you for coming on here this morning i wasn't going to get on here but i did so um hello Wherever you are in any part of the world, hello. From my heart to yours, love you. Have a wonderful rest of your morning. Thank you all for coming on here so early, you all. Yeah, the change is happening way too fast, and it's it's in every area of society, every single facet. It's like tentacles are weaving their way and taking out the old, putting in new all around the world. Love you.